but then uh, I want to emphasize how acupuncture works today because that's the question I got from most people when they ask me, you know, how acupuncture can fix arthritis or eye problems. And I read so many literatures and the most important thing is acupuncture improve the circulation to your tissues or joint or eyes. So when you have uh, joint pain or eye problems, macular degeneration, glaucoma, dry eyes, it's the circulation problem. So if we improve the circulation, then first of all, you clear up the inflammation there because when you have inflammation in any places, shoulder joint or back joint, you continue to damage your tissues. Your body cannot repair. But if you can clear up that inflammation by using acupuncture to speed up the circulation, not just dilate your blood vessels, it's different from anti-inflammatory or it's different from the blood thinner. The blood thinner dilates your blood vessels, but not improve the circulation. So you would have swelling, purple color in an area where you need to be repaired. But if you use acupuncture, you can actually speed up the whole circulation to bring more oxygen and nutrients to the joint or the tissues you need to repair. Okay, let me ask so, you a question. Will acupuncture help the puffiness under my eyes? Yes, that's another thing. Speed up your circulation underneath your eyes. The only thing I didn't do it for you because I'm afraid it will get bruised. And you, you know, you are on yeah, the TV. Me, yeah, yeah so that's why. Eyes. Yeah, That's because they think I'm going to bruise you. Don't do that. <laughs> Not you, Dr. Lee, but you think about, right? Everyone's looking for the next step to puffy eyes, to dark circles. If this helps increase circulation around your eyes, yeah. then this can help with that as well. Yes. The new research I just read published in Act of Thelmology and indicating that the reason acupuncture help improve the vision, vision field for people with a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which means their retina has inflammation specifically in the photoreceptors. So they couldn't see very clearly in the dark area. So the vision gradually deteriorate and within a few years, they will lose their vision. But using electric acupuncture, they can actually slow down the process. And the mechanism is, it speed up the circulation, so it'll bring more blood flow, fresh blood okay, flow. Okay, I gotta ask you a question. What is inflammation? Is it something that surrounds the capillary, something that surrounds the artery, something that surrounds the veins? What is it? Is it like a, what is it? Inflammation is a body response. It's from the immune system. So when you have like tissue damage, you break your blood vessel, you break your nerves, or you find out there is a, some um, foreign material invading the body. The immune system said a macrophage, white blood cells trying to clear up the area. So the area will become red, swollen, and painful. That's the inflammation. The That's your body thing. fighting the infection? Yes. So but neuropathy is a giant battle of inflammation in your legs? Neuropathy is a, is a chronic inflammation because your nerves first didn't get a sufficient blood flow and it started a degeneration. And once it started degenerate, the body tried to clear up that, the nerves which already degenerate. So if we can use the needles, bring the fresh blood flow to the hand and the feet where the neuropathy is, you gradually can regenerate the peripheral nerves. And the new research shows even for the brain cells, you can regenerate. It just takes longer time. But you can. You I was can. always told wow. you can't. Yeah, you regenerate the, the nerves. nerves, peripheral nerves, very fast. You can. Yeah, within a few weeks, you will have more sensation. So then the peripheral nerves started sprouting out, the new branches. And then the next stage, 
it'll trim off the extra branches. So you won't have like a tingling sensation or abnormal sensation. And then Wait, you can what if you don't have the tingling? Because I know the tingling is telling you you don't have enough blood going there. It's like when your leg falls asleep. Suppose you don't have that, but what you got is constant pressure. You ever heard a diabetic feels like their shoes are going to blow up their feet because it's constant pressure? You have tightness on your leg? It feels tight. Feels tight. But I look at my legs, I look at my feet every day. Uh -huh. There's no problem there. I got to make sure no calluses don't get in there. I, I put a lot of cream that I got from Fem City, which is the best. I have to hide it. Um, and then I have just the pressure. The pressure means the nerves are abnormally firing up. So you have early stage of neuropathy. So there's a different stage. stages. So I'm you can stage. recover much faster. The only thing it causes this early stage is because you don't have sufficient blood flow to your feet. So what if I dance or I ride a bicycle? Yeah, or you lie down. Help? Yes. Or you lie down, she <laughs> says. Lying down doesn't work for me. Let me tell you something about laying down. <laughs> okay. You got to put your feet up. Yeah. When you lay down. Because otherwise, it gets worse, the pressure. Maybe there's something wrong with me. <laughs> no, you just have to move. I got to move? Yeah, you have to. I got to move, Teddy. <laughs> well, we're going to be moving a lot. I'm going to run around the place. block. Yeah, You're that new place will be running all day. So maybe if you tried acupuncture for a couple of weeks, she says, not even long term. No, I think, I think that's going to be. some of the peripheral nerves you have. I think that that's going to be. And I know that we have a common friend, Susan's product. The disc? Yes. I have it on, actually. I'm going to tell you something. This I got it with me. Let me yeah. tell you something about this. I didn't even know you were coming on today. <laughs> but I carried this with me. I did an experiment. Okay. I put them at my arteries at my ankles. Uh-huh. On the outside first, and now on the inside. And I got to tell you something. Either I'm losing my mind, or the pressure on my feet, Getting better. Are much better. How many do you use? I was going to call you. I use two. I put one in each leg because I learned from her that when you put it on your kidneys, it works better. Yeah. And she had me doing the one under the belly. I know you have one under the belly and stuff. Or one on your back. Mm -mm. I'm putting it right on the ankles. I think I'm going to show you one spot, another kidney spot on your feet. And that's also bring the blood flow there. So everything is is related with the blood flow, but it's not just dilating the blood vessel. You have to speed up the circulation. Yes, and this is where you come in, because I have a feeling that when I come to see you and you do what you do, I want to put it, and I'm going to show you, because you know all the points. She knows all 2,000 points. But for some reason, on my legs, the last three or four days, these two points on my ankles has made a difference. Better than I have in three years. That's fantastic. It's kind of scary because I'm thinking maybe I'm creating some kind of damage. But my goodness, I feel like I could go dancing all of a sudden. I don't have the pressure on the feet. I don't have any of the tingling. And I said, maybe there's something wrong with me. So what? that's verifies that you have the early stage of neuropathy. Otherwise, you won't respond that fast. The pressure sensation is just your nerves a little bit abnormal, the function. It's an early stage. Well, in my life, it's a lot of abnormal. <laughs> We've got a lot going on. we got though. a lot of abnormalness. Dr. Lee, how do people find you? So you can go to bokeacupuncture.org and just search the keyword about a neuropathy or a shoulder pain or anything you want to know to help you speed up the healing process. And she's right here in Boca Raton, everyone, right near the Boca Raton Regional Hospital. She's here now pretty much full time. So you can now get an appointment. She's not so busy that you can't because she's here a lot more. I'm going tomorrow. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to light you up like a light bulb. You know, <laughs> we really walk the walk. As we talk the talk of everything and all of our sponsors and advertisers, we use all of the products that we support. We yeah. truly do. We do. We try them all. One of us may try it before the other, but I've been using Susan's patch the past couple I'm gonna days. I'm going to tell you something. And it's made a big difference. I want to see how it combines over here. With the acupuncture on top of what Tracy is doing with Beamer. So much of it all works hand in hand. It's about... What did he say? Relax, recharge, reboot, restoring your life again. Get it done. Get it out and get it done. Because we keep going and going. Give us a call. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, more with Bev D'Amico, Dr. Lee. 
I don't know if you saw the size of that pizza that just walked out of this room. I've never, I think that goes in like the Guinness Book of Pizzas. We are live at Pizza District in Boca Raton on the corner of Southwest 18th Street and Powerline Road. If you hit rewind, you'll get to see Sophie ring at Freddie's bell. How do you like that, having a four-year-old ring your bell? Very cool. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Dr. Lee of Boca Raton Acupuncture Clinic with the PhD in Neuroscience. Her practice in acupuncture helps hormone balancing, total relaxation, diabetes, and inflammation. For additional questions or to schedule a free consultation, call Boca Raton Acupuncture Clinic at 617-817-1910. Acupuncture and Chinese herbs are very effective in treating many ailments and diseases and have been used for thousands of years in China. Call today for your free consultation at 617-817-1910. 